Donna and I want to wish all of you a happy 4th of July celebrating our nation's independence. It's been a crazy year, but uh, we're rolling on and uh, we made it to another July 4th. So uh, on top of that, so I went out this morning, I'm all dressed for work. It's like uh, 8.30 my time. Went out, got in my, my beast of a truck and turned the key and uh, it just went yeah. And just in case you didn't catch that, it went. Houston, we have a problem. And so it tried to like the starter engaged, whatever. So I thought, okay, well, in this heat, because we've been averaging like 115, 120 degree days, I thought, well, you know, you can lose a battery pretty quick in this heat, as we've talked about. Hey, you could be larger than life, bigger than the world, living out the hopes and dreams of every boy and every girl. And you could fly higher than the sky, shine brighter than the stars. So I put that handy nifty um, battery tester on there. Um, and it also tests under load. It has a switch on it so that you can show your battery under load. Anyway, standing idle, both batteries, it's a diesel, so it has two batteries. Both batteries tested good. I punched the load button and they still tested good. So it's kind of telling me it's not the battery uh, or batteries. It's, I believe that it's something in the computer telling the truck not to start. Uh, some kind of a safety sensor or something. So I checked uh, park to make sure I was fully engaged in the park um, gear and I was. I actually checked that like three times, took it out of park, put it back in the park, cranked the key, nothing, so on and so forth. And then I even rolled backwards in my driveway just a hair uh, to see if, well, maybe there's something in the parking gear sensor wise that it's in a weird position and it won't let it start. So I rolled it back a dab and still nothing. Um, so I called my wonderful boss and uh, told her that I needed to take the day off as a vacation day, an emergency vacation day, so I could get my truck into the shop because it's gonna have to be towed. Anyway, so that's how my uh, Monday, what is this, the 28th or 29th of June? I think it's the 28th. Uh, of June. That's how my Monday before the 4th has started here. Uh, I'm going to kind of keep you posted in video of what's going on here with the, with the truck. Um, just because it might help you or it might be interesting to you. Maybe not. Calling Geico right now. For calling Geico. Your call may be recorded for quality purposes. Trying a different number. Thank you for calling Geico. Your call may be recorded for quality purposes. Are you calling about roadside assistance? Yes. Okay. Do you need a tow? Yes. Have you been in an accident? No. Okay. I'll get you over to a claim specialist. But first, to protect your privacy, Please say or enter your date of birth. Do you know the location of your disabled vehicle so that we can send help? Yes. I'll get you connected with an insurance expert. Make paying your insurance bill easy. Enroll in one of GEICO's automatic payment plans and have your bill paid on time every time. Simply log in to GEICO.com or call 1-800-932-8872. Automatic payment plans from GEICO. Do I have the pleasure of speaking with Carl Johnson? You do have that pleasure. Okay, it does not have it? No, sir, it doesn't. Okay, I've got it through um, 
good Sam too because I pull my RV with it. So I'll call them. I appreciate your time. You're absolutely welcome. Okay, you may remember from several of our videos that uh, we've had some battery issues with the RV. Okay, so today I think I'm having a battery issue with my truck. So I currently have it on a rapid charge with my new battery charger that I showed you, I think two weeks ago in the video. Um, so it's doing a rapid charge. It started out at 60%, it's now at 70%. My plan right now is to charge it, take it to the Ford dealership, let them confirm whether or not it's a battery. If it is, I'll have them replace the battery, but I also need my brakes looked at. So while it's in there, I'm gonna have them look at my brakes. So I'm hoping I get it started. I've given up on Geico because I don't have uh, roadside coverage with them. I do have it with Good Sam, but I thought I would try this before I take it, before I call Good Sam. So right now we're charging it. Um, I'm gonna let this rapid charger get it to up to snuff, and then I'm gonna try to start it. Okay, so I'm looking at the um, instructions. Bottom line here, I had it all hooked up correctly and um, it's just not working. So I'm back to uh, Geico. So uh, I'm gonna close up the hood there and head back into the air conditioned house. About 104 degrees right now. And I'm gonna call Geico and see if they'll come out and either jump me or tow me. Uh, either way, I gotta get it to uh, a dealership so be right back with you okay so I'm gonna try good Sam got my uh, roadside assistance card shows I'm a platinum member and uh, the 800 numbers on the back of the card so let's see what happens here Hello? Hi, Mr. Johnson. And what year is your uh, Ford? It's a 2017. And what color is it? It's uh, white. Okay. Uh, probably, a, it's probably going to need a tow because I can't, the batteries are both showing that they're fully charged. So I think I need a tow. It's a 2017 Ford F550. Um, let me let you speak to a representative that handles medium duty, and they're going to be glad to assist you with that. I'll give them the information I have so far, okay? Thank you. Um, they're going to pick up the truck between 9 and 9.30 a.m. on Wednesday of this week and take it to the Ford dealership for repair, etc. So uh, that's good news, and the tow will be at no charge because we have roadside assistance. I don't know what that bill's gonna look like from Team Ford, but I'll deal with it when I get it. So um, wasn't as fruitful as I was hoping, but at least it's going to happen. Well, it looks like I'll be taking Carl to work this morning because his truck is dead. <laughs> Yay. I don't have his number. When he calls to confirm the pickup, I'll let him know that uh, that we're good to go here. So we're gonna head to Ford. Donna's gonna follow me and we'll drop it off. I don't know why I didn't try this before. I think, 
I think I was, uh, well, I know why I didn't try it before. I was uh, concerned that I didn't know which battery to jump and I didn't know whether or not I should use Donna's car. I know this is stupid, it's really goofy, but I've never jumped a diesel before. They've got two batteries. I didn't want to mess up the electrical system. So um, anyway, we're gonna head over to Ford and we're gonna see what uh, what the scoop is here on uh, on this truck. So we're at Ford, right? And I was pulling in and see that, see that orange cone right there? Well, I ran over one, not that one, but I ran over a cone and um, so I had to back up there to get the cone out from underneath my truck. I didn't even see it. I was looking around trying to make sure I was pulling into the right bay. Are you laughing? No, I would never. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so did that and get out. Um, I found out that I did not replace the, well, I thought I replaced one of the batteries on this truck. It, it was must have been my Ram truck that I replaced it. Anyway, um, so he, uh, recommended that we change out both batteries he said when one goes they both tend to go I know on the Ram I did not do that but on the Ford I decided to do that because they're both leaking fluids out of one out of the post terminal which means the post is cracked so I told him to go ahead and replace those that is not an inexpensive scenario at a Ford dealership what I like though is the batteries are covered for three years, no proration. So if they die for some reason in three within three years, um, they'll replace the whole battery at full, no charge to me, which is really cool. I like that part. Anyway, I'm paying for it, but I like it. So I, I didn't want to shut it off. He told me to go ahead and shut it off. They have jump boxes and they would jump it. So I shut it off. Um, it started right up though, when they went to go ahead and park it which is good news, at least it held the charge long enough to get it over here and it charged itself up enough to start once I got it here. So that's good news. And um, I hey, told I him- I have a question. I'm not taking questions. <laughs> um, is it possible that that's why it wasn't charging the camper batteries? Probably not. Okay. Because I think they charge off of the alternator. Anyway, so good question though, but I don't think that's the problem. Okay. So. Anyway, so the guy says to me, he goes, anything else? I said, well, check the brakes, please. So they're going to check the brakes because they've been squeaking for a long time. And um, he's going to do that. And then he said, okay, you got everything. You got your keys. You got your block garage clicker. You got everything you need. I'm like, yeah, I got everything I need. I get about halfway down the side of the truck and he calls me back. He goes, do you want your phone? <laughs> And I said, yeah, I'm going to need that too. So anyway, battery is, or truck is dropped off. He said they might get it done today, Donna. So that's, that's pretty cool, right? Anyway, it, so it's at the Ford dealership. It is 10 till nine in the morning and Donna's taking me to work. I should get there about 920, which is perfect. And uh, hopefully I won't have too expensive of a day. The batteries so far uh, are gonna come in just shy of $300. Well, it's Friday and guess what? The beast did not come home when we thought she would. Uh, still at the Ford dealership. They have a parts back order. Probably won't get it until Tuesday now. So all of my scrambling trying to get it in on Monday, of course, did not happen. Got it down there on Wednesday. Thought I would have it back by tonight at the latest and now it's gonna be Tuesday of next week. So, you know what, stuff happens, but at least the batteries will be, have been changed out and they will have inspected my brakes. I still don't know what the story is with my brakes, but that's the joy of truck ownership. So guess what happened? So, uh, we are on our way to the Ford dealership. I thought that we weren't gonna be able to pick up my truck until Tuesday because I thought they had to do a brake job on it. Anyway, good news today. They pulled off the, the wheels and tires and looked at the brakes. They inspected them and my pads are all in good shape and the squeaking is just kind of inherent to that particular truck and I've run into that before with my Ram truck. Um, so the good news is no brake job. So it was just uh, 
the battery replacement and I am good to go. And I don't have to take him to work anymore. So, hey, we thank you for watching. Hope you have or had a great 4th of July. And uh, we're gonna ask you to please like, share, and subscribe. And remember this, we'll see you next week.